The film Full Metal Jacket, directed by Stanley Kubrick, follows the saga of the Vietnam War that raged on between 1955 and 1975. What began, in, what began as a civil war between the northern communist Vietnam and the southern capitalist Vietnam soon became an international event with the western world afraid of the outcome if Ho Chen Mei, who was a key figure in the communist movie, movement, was successful in occupying um, the, in, the whole of Vietnam. What originally began as a simple training and support mission eventually outgrew into something much more. America's involvement grew to the point where they were deploying military personnel onto the front line. The film Full Metal Jacket depicts the conflict through the eyes of these soldiers and demonstrates the extent of the psychological toll that this war had on them. The film primarily focuses on a soldier nicknamed Joker through his journey and experiences in this particular war, encountering different personalities that embody the war and the trauma that it presents. Such examples can be seen through the Get Some Soldier, who uses a warped sense of justice as an excuse for shooting at um, civilians, whereas another case shows soldiers playing with a deceased Viet Cong soldier's body as if it was some sort of trophy. These reflect the psychological trauma that the conflict had creating, turning these men savage. The Vietnam War was the first to have a public that was openly against um, having a military presence in another country, and were more in favour of withdrawing these troops, with a large focus on why they were in Vietnam to begin with. This is demonstrated in the film when soldiers are interviewed about being within Vietnam, but none have a justifiable answer. The poem In the Barracks, written in the 1970s, reflects upon the mindset of a soldier as they attempt to rest and get some sleep whilst thinking of the day ahead. Is it possible that all these may be dead tomorrow? Is it possible that they may already be dead? He said, referring to the soldiers around him. The fear of death consuming the soldier, driving them to the point of insanity, combined with the unanswered question of why they were in Vietnam, pushes them to create their own logic, which they then use as justification for their actions to ease their conflicted minds. The poem, Getting Out of Vietnam, further illustrates the issue of not knowing why the soldiers were fighting, using ancient Greece as a um, comparison, but with a darker twist. The elders sent their quota of courage to Kronos, confident that they would find something to die of and for. Not only do they not know what they were fighting for, but rather more importantly, the soldiers do not know what they were dying for causing further conflict within their minds as they try and make sense of what's happening around them. This internal conflict within a soldier is best shown through the film's central character, Joker, whose name already does not match the tone of his surroundings. Furthermore, the peace symbol pin he wears on his chest is in complete contradiction to the born to kill message written on his helmet. When confronted by a general about this contradiction, Joker himself could not follow the logic. His use of a journalism to avoid conflict, yet the grenades which are always visible. These are all clear indications of his, of his struggle to identify with what is happening around him. The film does an incredible job at capturing the pain and conflicting minds of the soldiers portrayed. According to a survey conducted, approximately 31% of returning American troops suffered some form of PTSD. That is approximately 271,000 troops, people whose lives were never the same after the war.